Earlier this month, Google launched Nano Banana, an AI image editing model, and the internet went crazy. In this tutorial, I will show you what you can do with Nano Banana in MocoFun. Let's get started. For the first effect, we'll transform a photo into a pixel art image. We drag our photo onto the canvas and then click the button Use Image as Reference. This will open the AI image generation input where we first choose Nano Banana as the model and then write our prompt instructions and click the Generate button. Nano Banana will generate a pixel art image using the input image as reference. As you can see, the clothing, face, hair color, and even the yellow scarf match the input image closely. But we're not done. We can take this further. Click the Add Text button and let's write some instructions. Choose a simple style so that the text color is black. Move and copy paste the text on the other side of the image. We now group everything and rasterize it to get a single image containing the text instructions and image. Let's add this new image as a reference for Nano Banana. Also, we put in a prompt asking Nano Banana to fill in the areas where we put our text instructions. The model will expand the image on its sides. The model is very good at keeping consistency of both the subject and the artistic styles. Here is another generation where I use the same workflow. You can click Generate multiple times until you get the result you're looking for. Another thing Nano Banana is good for is combining multiple images in a seamless way. Let's upload this photo of a dog and use it as a reference next to the image of the woman. Make sure that Nano Banana is active and then input a prompt similar to this, instructing the model to place the woman together with the dog in a nice flower garden. When we click Generate, Nano Banana generates a perfectly blended image. All the details of the woman, clothing and the dog are reproduced precisely. This kind of image would take hours to create in Photoshop, but the model does this in just a few seconds. Nano Banana can also be used as an image editor and a versatile photo filter. For this next effect, we'll start with this image. First, I want a front view of the subject. So, click on the AI Edit button and in the AI Edit prompt, we'll put How do I look from the front? making sure Nano Banana is the photo editing model. Click Generate and the photo is changed to a front view. Let's duplicate the image to keep a reference and go through the normal Nano Banana flow by adding the image as reference and turning on Nano Banana. Let's put in this prompt to make the subject 50 years old and dressed in 1970s fashion style in a retro disco. So, we use Nano Banana as an aging photo filter. Here's the input and the output images. They look like father and son. So, I think I'll take the effect further and create a new image showing them together in the same photo. Add the two images as reference and put in the prompt. The prompt can be simple or very detailed. Here are the intermediary images and the final result. Is that cool or what? Nano Banana can generate persons from reference images, but it also has knowledge of famous people. To make a photo of yourself with Taylor Swift, open the AI edit function and put in a prompt describing the scene. Here are a few different generations of the subject with Taylor Swift doing a 1990s music video. This is awesome. By now, you might be getting a message that your AI credits are running low. Check the link in the description for how to get more AI credits. Another very common image editing task is photo restoration. Let's take this old photo. The colors are faded, there are scratches, tears, and wrinkle marks all over it. Let's upload it in MocoFun and use Nano Banana to fix it. Click the AI Edit button, make sure Nano Banana is selected and input a prompt asking the model to restore it. Remove the scratches and wrinkles. Click Generate. And after a few moments, the wrinkles and scratches are all gone. Here's a closer look at the before and after. The photo is nice and clean, but as always with Nano Banana, we can go further. How would this photo look in colors? Go to AI Edit again and ask the model to colorize the photo. Click the Generate button again and boom! We have our old photo in colors. To recap, we first removed the scratches and wrinkles from the old photo and then colorized the photo with realistic colors. I think the result looked pretty cool. Next on Outplayed, changing text in photos. For some time now, AI has been able to generate text inside images. With Nano Banana, it is now possible to replace text in images with your own text. So let's take this photo and use the AI edit again. We will ask the model to change the CNN text on the right with our own text. After input in the prompt, we click Generate. The result is amazing. The text is blended seamlessly using the same look as the original text. Subscribe to Mock of Fun. Not a bad idea. Product placement was probably one of my most frequent tasks in the past. Speaking from my own experience as a Photoshop designer, it took a lot of work and it was quite a challenge. Let's see how Nano Banana handles this task. I uploaded four images of a woman, a perfume bottle, some earrings and Mock of Fun's YouTube plaque, which I'm hopeful will come to me someday. 
Let's add the images one by one as references and input a well-crafted prompt, having the woman with a different hairstyle showcasing the perfume and earrings with the YouTube plaque in the background. We click Generate and wait to see what Nano Banana generates. Holly smokes. All elements are perfect. Even the text on the perfume bottle is identical to the reference. Let's see another cool use of Nano Banana for logo mockups. First, we need a logo, so let's generate one. Add a simple text, then click the AI logo badge button. MocoFun has a built-in logo badge generator. It allows putting in a text and description for the logo. I think a smiley face creative tech company logo would works just fine here. Click generate and we get a super nice logo. If you already have a logo, you can simply upload it and use it in the following steps. Let's put this to the side to make a little room. Then we use the image as a reference and activate Nano Banana. We can now place the logo on different products by putting in a prompt like this. We'll start with a baseball cap. Okay, let's see what we can do next. A blue t-shirt perhaps? That looks so nice. And now I think I want a nice tote bag. Oh wow, this looks perfect. And with my logo on it. Cool. So I've created three different products with my exact logo on them. Since the logo on the blue baseball cap is not too visible, I think I'll make a small adjustment. I already have my logo added as a reference and I can add the cap as well. I'll just instruct the model to change the colors of the baseball cap. There, much better. The logo is now clearly visible on the front of the cap and the photo looks just like a professional product photo. These logo product mockups are very high quality and I could easily use them as a showcase for a logo. Comic books are one of my hobbies. I always wanted to create my own comic books, and now with Nano Banana, I just might do that. First we'll need a few characters. I chose a man, a woman, and a dog. We'll also need an artistic style for our comic book. So, let's create one with our three characters. Add the images to use as reference with Nano Banana turned on. Then input a prompt to display our characters in the Stan Lee comic book style. We'll also ask the model to annotate each character with their name. We'll use this later. We click Generates, and the model creates this amazing comic book style drawing with each character name pointing to the characters in the photo. I'll clean up the workspace a bit by moving the photos out of the way. Let's create some comic book panels. In the menu on the left, go to Elements, then Shape and Geometric. Click on the simple square shape. Change the color to white and the stroke to a thin black stroke. We'll use this as a comic book template. Rasterize the vector shape into an image and add a text. For each comic book panel, we'll add instructions for Nano Banana. You will see how Nano Banana will use these instructions to fill in the comic book panels. Copy paste each panel and its text, then double click to input the new instructions. Rinse and repeat. We'll do this until we end up with four comic book panels with instruction inside. We then select all four panels and the text inside, group them and rasterize them into one single image. So we have our characters, our comic book style and the comic book panels with instructions. We add the image with the three characters and the comic book panels and ask the model to fill in the panels according to the instructions. When we click Generate, Nano Banana generates the four panels following our text instructions precisely. The characters are dressed and look exactly like the reference image and it even adds speech bubbles. The cool thing is that you can generate multiple versions and the system generates different things. This looks even cooler. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on what you can do with Nano Banana in MocoFun and decide to give it a try yourself. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.